In the morning, our bus takes us to the Estancia Cayman, home to the Cayman Ecological Refuge. The Estancia Cayman is a working cattle ranch with 20,000 head of cattle on 131,000 acres. On the way to our lodge, we spot this tortoise, surround him, and take way too many pictures. We are staying in one of three lodges, the Cordillera Lodge. The lodge has eight guest rooms and a common area where meals are served. It's very nice. The common area looks out onto a large meadow. Our local guide, Favio, explains what's for lunch. Also very good. After a lunch like that, it's tempting to take a rest. But we haven't taken enough pictures yet today, so we head out to explore the meadow and beyond. Our guide spots a giant anteater at the edge of the forest. She has her baby on her back. The giant anteater is the largest anteater in the world. They're between six and eight feet long and weigh up to 140 pounds. They eat up to 30,000 insects a day. Anteaters have poor eyesight and hearing, but great noses. We're downwind, but she smells us. There she goes. Enough excitement for today. We head back to the lodge for dinner. And now for something completely different. We're spending the morning with the cowboys. Fabio discusses the morning plans with the foreman. We ask why they use mules here instead of horses. Strength and stamina was the answer. The mules had been trained to line up so the cowboys could pick them out. The cowboys put on bridles and lead the mules to the tack area. The saddles are quite different. The well-dressed cowboy. work today is to round up some cattle to be sold to a feedlot. Pantanero cattle are a breed developed here from Spanish and Portuguese cattle crossed with zebu bulls from India. The first task is to round them up and get them all moving in the same direction. Eventually the cowboys have the cattle moving in a large circle they call a rodeo. Then they're funneled into a fenced corridor leading to the corrals. cattle have been trained to follow the sound of the horn. They don't look too happy, probably wondering if it's their turn to head to the feedlot. The next step is to run the cattle through a chute to separate the feedlot bound from ones that still have some growing to do. Mate is the Pantanal's answer to an energy drink. Yerba Mate is mixed with cold water in a cow's horn and drunk through a metal straw. 
The foreman's happy with the morning's work. The cattle were rounded up and no tourists were injured in the process. Watching the cowboys work hard rounding up cattle has made us hungry. It's lunchtime. Another sumptuous lunch at our lodge and a little siesta time. Wolfgang says, enough of this laying around. So we load up the truck again for a game drive. This little owl lives not far from our lodge and we usually see him as we come and go. We get out of the truck so we can take a close look at this particularly spectacular pink trumpet tree. Out of the truck, we have an opportunity to catch some birds and animals that we'd miss from the road. And another anteater. Hygiena says this is unusual. We wrap up our game drive at another lodge by Azinha, where we relax and watch the birds and the sunset. The morning greets us with an unseasonable rain. We get a late start in our game drive. These cuckoos are huddled together against the cold and damp. We're lucky to spot a gray and a red brocket deer, two small deer species that usually hide in the forest. The toko toucan is an unusual bird with an unusual sound. Before we know it, it's lunchtime. We stop at the main lodge, which is on the site of the homestead of the original owners in 1910. Lunch is accompanied by local musicians. After lunch, we explore the lodge and the surrounding gardens. From the lodge, we walk through a field to the school and the Hyacinth Macaw Project, one of three research projects here. The abundance of wildlife so close to human habitation is pretty amazing. macaw with a broken wing is in a cage outside the Hyacinth Macaw Project building. A dozen macaws come and go as if they are visiting a sick friend.
near the school, a flock of cuckoos poses for us in a bougainvillea. As we leave the lodge, we drive through an orchard. As we passed the airstrip, this Rio was trying to impress a female. Then we happened on another anteater. Tonight's sunset is special. We want to get pictures of the macaws flying to their roost trees against the sunset. It's our last day it came on, and there's still a lot to see. This is a very big place. stopping by another cattle station so we can get out and walk around for another perspective. These calves are only days old and mom's not too sure about us. A lot of interesting pictures around the cattle station. Behind the cattle station is a large marsh that we're going to explore. Kiskadees have the ability to hover and then dive to catch their prey.
Our time is short, so it's back to the truck for a leisurely trip back to the lodge for lunch. With a couple of stops for special pictures. After lunch, our bus is all loaded and ready to take us to Fazenda San Francisco. But we have to stop for these strange birds. Our stay at Came On has been outstanding. Well worth coming back to. Hagina spots a green-winged macaw. We stop and try to wish it out of the tree for a clearer shot. 